father in Moab, little Ruth, she had no idea that the God of the universe was preparing her to play a part in the Genesis 3.15 prophecy. Remember Genesis 3.15 in the garden? Yeah, there is coming a Messiah born of woman. And you, Satan, will strike his heel, but he's going to crush your head. And here you've got little Ruth, a Moabitess, who's despised by the Israelites, God's people. You think she had any idea, as she's playing her Moabite games as a little girl, that the God of the universe is preparing the way for her to be part of that prophecy? There's no way she could have known that. And there's no way you can possibly know what God is preparing you to do in his eternal story. Here's what we learn from this amazing book. Whatever you do, whether that is serving your mother-in-law, Ruth's decision, what if she had decided not to serve her mother-in-law and go with Orpah? Think how different the whole story would have been. A small decision. Okay, whatever we do to, to be obedient to God, picking up grain in a field. What if Ruth felt lazy that day and didn't go to the field where Boaz was? Every little decision that you make in obedience, falling in love, that decision, okay? And several of you have done that. You fall in love. That decision in obedience to God can have an eternal significance. Having children, God has placed children under your care. Children that, can, that he can use in such a way. Think, think about what Ruth's child is going to do. Uh, every act of obedience we have, has it, it's all connected to eternity. Every single one is connected to eternity. How does that not matter to us? Things are much bigger than they appear. And why? Because the book of Ruth tells us God is involved in them. Every little decision, God is involved. And he is working for our good. This little Moabite girl, what does God do? God works through this little Moabite girl to bring about an interracial baby, Obed. And that little interracial baby, God works through them to bring about a little shepherd boy in a field. And God takes that little shepherd boy and works in his life to bring about a mighty king over Israel. And that mighty king over Israel, God works through all of these circumstances to bring about a virgin girl, completely pure, a thousand or two years later. And that virgin girl, completely pure, God works through her to bring about a savior for all mankind. And that savior is telling us today that God is working right now in this very moment to bring about what? To bring about a place with no more death and no more mourning and no more crying and no more pain because the old order of things has passed away. It's gone. It's done. Behold, I am making all things new. And if that isn't working for our good, I don't know what is. Praise God for the story of this faithful woman, Ruth.